Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is Saturday and I have a busy day today. I'm actually about to be heading out the door. We have like open house for co-op. So I'm gonna be taking Sean to the open house. It's like we're meeting new moms and I don't know, we'll see what it looks like when we get there. But I'm gonna be going out with Sean and then Joe's staying home with the big kids and that way they can have like some big kid time with Joe. So I'm gonna vlog a little bit today, take you guys along. Then when we get back home, we'll see if we can do some stuff around the house. Had a super fun day yesterday because yesterday I got time with the big kids. We had a field trip with the kids co-op and we went ice skating. And it had been years since we went ice skating. I mean, the kids have never been ice skating. I hadn't been in years. And so Mimi came over and watched Sean at our place and then I was able to take the big kids. And it was the best time. Bridie was trying to figure out how to skate on her own and I got the best workout I think of my entire life because I was pushing Jackson. They have like these little seals that the kids can sit in if they don't know how to skate. And I was pushing him, I was pushing both of them. So my entire body is kind of hurting right now. But it was just the best time. And like I told you guys on Instagram, it just felt nice that I got to go do something like kind of one-on-one -on -one with them, you know, not totally one-on-one, -on -one, but focused on them. And then I had, you know, help with Sean. So it was much needed and it was just like a nice little activity for us to do together, like a bonding moment. I was like skating and I was like looking at my children and I was like, this is probably a core memory for me. I hope it's a core memory for them because it was just such a nice time. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I hope you guys are ready just to hang out with me. I have, oh, I have some very sad news about my house to share with you guys. Just such a mission but before I tell you guys about that I want to thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video I've talked about Ritual so many times on my channel at this point because they're the vitamins that I take when I was pregnant with Sean and I think even when I was pregnant with Jackson the prenatal vitamins from Ritual were the ones that I took so these were the prenatals I have them still in my cabinet I don't use them right now because I'm not pregnant but what I do take is their postnatal so they have a prenatal they have a postnatal they have also one that's just for women 18 and up they have men's vitamins so there's something really for everyone but I I do try to still take these because I'm still nursing Sean and I want to make sure that I'm getting the nutrients that I need and in terms of like why I choose ritual as opposed to the other vitamins out there I feel like it's a vitamin that I can trust one of the big things about them is that they share a lot of the information about the ingredients that go in here all of the ingredients are traceable they tell you where they source all of their ingredients so here it tells you like made traceable all these ingredients where they're from the other thing that I really like about them is when you open up the bottle there's like this little um, capsule in here that smells like either lemon or mint i always get the mint one and it just smells so good so it's not like you're opening up a thing of vitamins and it smells disgusting like it smells really good and tastes really fresh so i take two a day and then i just have them with my morning water and then the vitamins they have this like delayed release capsule which means that it bypasses the stomach and they dissolve in the small intestine which is like the key place for them to land so that our bodies can absorb the nutrients but they taste really good they taste fresh um i've never had them like upset my stomach they also have like a really clean formula they're non-gmo they're vegan and then they're most of those major allergen free so if you guys are on the hunt for a vitamin if you haven't been taking any vitamins or you're recently pregnant congratulations then maybe you're looking for a prenatal i highly recommend you guys try out ritual i do have a code for you guys I have a great savings for you so if you use my code if you use my link and I'll have all the information on the screen and down below I believe I also have a QR code my code gets you 25% off of your first order so if you want to check them out I'll have that info there and then the great thing about ritual is that it's a subscription so you never have to worry about like running out of vitamins and then having to like head out to the store and I used to always like not have vitamins in my cabinet <laughs> because I would be lazy and I would run out and I wouldn't go get them or then I'd be like oh they're not on sale like I don't want to spend the money on them so with ritual you set up the subscription and then they come straight to your door and never run out so definitely something for you guys to look into so that's all about ritual thank you to them again for sponsoring and now let's i think let's go get sean because i believe he's awake let's see if the little dude is awake because he was up quite some time last night and i think he was just really tired yeah it looks like he's awake let's go get him How's my baby? He's happy now because like it's past eight o'clock and he was sleeping because he spent a lot of time last night up and refusing to go to sleep. Good detour. Let's get you out of your sleep sack. Let's get you out of here. Oh, and you're all wet. I don't know why lately he's been waking up all wet. He soaks through his diaper and I gotta clean him. And then I feel so bad because he's all wet. Are you ready? Wear. What do we wear? There are 
go, bud? What do we think about this outfit? <laughs> do you look cute? He looks so cute. I put him in this outfit once. I loved him in it, but I need to put him in it again because if not, he's gonna soon outgrow it. Yesterday, he turned seven months old, you guys. He is seven months old in one day today when I'm filming this and he is getting so big. But yeah, in terms of his sleeping, it hasn't been all that great lately. I don't know why. The last like three nights, he's been waking up in the middle of the night and then it had gotten to the point where I could, you know, wake up several times throughout the night, but I would just like come in here, feed him or rock him, and then he'd go back to sleep. And the last couple nights, I'll feed him and then he doesn't want to go back to sleep. Like I put him in his crib and instead of just going back to sleep, he starts crying and so I've been letting him try to like figure it out self-soothe and sometimes it would take you know maybe 10 15 minutes for him to go to sleep no there was a night a couple nights ago where for two hours he refused to sleep and so he was crying for like 20 minutes and I'd come check on him then he'd start crying again it was just like not fun because for two hours I was awake like from three to five or from one to three and then last night that's kind of he hit like that witching hour like at four in the morning he refused to settle. Eventually he went back to sleep at some point. I must have fallen asleep. But now he wakes up and he wants to nurse. So he's like sucking on my arm. So let me go feed him downstairs. All right, I nursed this guy a little bit, but I want to give him food before we leave. And giving him like his solids or his purees or whatever in the morning and then usually at night. So this morning we have yogurt. I give him some whole milk yogurt and then I add some peanut butter. And this has been something that he seems to not hate. Last night he really yes, wasn't yes. liking. No, last night he wasn't liking his no, dinner. He was gagging on his dinner. No, come on, buddy. I might have to put some fruit in it. Do you not like this, Gordo? Is it not sweet enough? Let me see if I add like a little bit of fruit if I have any. This is a beech nut, apple, raspberries, and avocado. I don't know if that combination is gonna be any good. But while I try to get him some food in his system, let me tell you guys what happened. To our house i don't know maybe like a couple weeks ago we discovered that after taking a shower joe and i like we came downstairs we noticed that there was a leak in our roof there was water seeping from the ceiling and it was just like one of those like oh crap moments it was just not not it so we thought initially that it could be that like in our shower there was a lot of like the caulking was like missing like in the shower so we we're like maybe there's water getting in there because there's no caulking or whatever so joe went and he repaired that he repaired it and then we turned on the water to see if it was that the first time that we tested it the water wasn't going through so we're like perfect he fixed it excellent but then a couple days later we again took a shower came back downstairs and we saw that it was leaking again so obviously we knew we had to figure out what was causing that because the last thing i need is like rotting wood mold like a leak like water coming through my ceiling that's not good so yesterday we had plumbers come out look what they did to my house so here in the family room if you look up <laughs> this is what my ceiling looks like they had to cut holes in the ceiling no. to figure out where the leak was happening and so all of that are like pipes and that's super fun so they identified at first we thought it was like the drain pipe i don't know again i'm not a plumber i don't know anything about any of this stuff so we thought maybe there was a chance that it was the drain and then sadly i guess it was not because it seems like it's the actual shower panel again all of these things i'm learning what pan. shower pan i keep saying shower panel but sh the shower pan itself like the actual square of the shower on the floor it's broken it's damaged i don't know water is getting through it so long story short the plumbers were like giving us like all of our options and now i have to decide if i'm just going to repair the pan which is like a smaller project or if i'm going to redo the whole shower which is a bigger project or if i'm going to just take it a step further and redo the entire master bathroom those are kind of like our options. And our plan when we bought this house was eventually to redo the entire master bathroom because the entire master bathroom um, just is not like way outdated. But I wasn't like prepared to do that now. So now I've got to like think about it, pray about it, look at estimates, figure out what the game plan is going to be. It really doesn't make sense to redo part of the bathroom if in a few years I was going to like redo the whole thing, but maybe I just go ahead and knock it out now. I don't really know what to do, but I know that it's going to be expensive no matter what we do. So that 
was the news that we got yesterday. Joseph, how do you feel about that? I didn't think that was gonna do what went. I know, right? It was like very unexpected. We did not think that we were gonna have to address that anytime soon. What are the kids eating? Look, Joe's very kindly making the kids breakfast. And we've got waffles and peanut butter, like the protein waffles. This has been Riley's new thing. Peanut butter and waffle, which is a good healthy breakfast. So I'm here for it. Are you guys gonna be nice for Dada? Yeah? yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with Dada? Are we going to go in the hot tub? You're going to go in the hot tub? Hug. You want a hug for me? Yeah. Are you leaving now? I'm not leaving just yet. I have to finish feeding your brother. Oh. But Jackson is so cute. Jackson will not let you leave the house until he gets a hug and a kiss. And like you'll be out the door and he'll be screaming at you, a hug and a kiss, hug and a kiss. So he very much makes sure to give me love before I leave. How about you? Will you give me love? Yeah. Very good. I always give you love. Thank you. Did you have fun ice skating yesterday? Yes! The best time of my life! It was the best time of my life! Yeah, it was really fun, huh? All right, little man is ready to go. You are coming with me. He gets so excited because he plays with his car, like toys, like he likes this Mickey. Oh and he loves, he loves his little something. pacifier. What did you forget? Oh, you gotta give him a hug and a kiss? Oh, that's very sweet. I forgot him. Oh, well I'm glad you didn't forget him. So this guy will come with me. I got my coffee. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hi, little baby. Okay, so a million years later, it's like 124. I got here at 9.30. I've been here like all day. We had the best time just like going over plans for next year. Like again, this was like a co-op open house. So we were talking about our co-op group to like new families and then like talking about what our plans are for next year and like all the logistics of co-op life. We were sharing curriculums for those of you who, you know, homeschool, like everybody was sharing like different homeschooling curriculums and I use this and I use that and showing workbooks. It was like homeschool school like a homeschool kind of like workshop like fair like it was just really good so and then I got to see like a lot of my girlfriends so we were just like mingling and hanging out so that was a productive day and Sean did so good I was worried that he wasn't going to do very well but he stayed in the carrier for a while like I brought like anytime I go to co-op I bring my carrier so I can put him in there and he takes a nap so he took a nap on me and then he was just like in my arms the rest of the time so he did really good I was very happy I was like on the fence on whether I leave him at home with Joe but had I left him at home I would have had to rush home earlier so this was good because I got to like just do this in peace not worry about like oh my poops are gonna explode from like needing to nurse him so I was able to nurse him there it was great so now I'm gonna head home Joe texted me that our contractor is at home like fixing our ceiling so gotta go talk to him but at least I won't have holes in my ceiling which will be great and then see what the big kids are up to so I will see you guys when we get home all right so I am back home Joseph held down the fort quite well what are you doing now you're cleaning up all the stuff they didn't make that much of a mess, I don't think. Did they? Or you've just been cleaning it? You've been cleaning it? But yeah, look, so our contractor came by and at least we no longer have the holes. He still has to like come back another day, like we gotta let this dry and then they've gotta sand it and put another layer, I think, and then paint it. But at least, you know, we don't have the holes and you can't see the pipes and stuff. The kids are playing outside. They went in the hot tub. They had a nice afternoon morning with Joseph. So now I need to finally eat lunch. Sean is taking a nap, so he was like dead tired. Some leftover pizza in there. So while I wait for the pizza to heat up, I have this like random craving to make sourdough discard crackers. It's one of my favorite things to make with sourdough. So I'm gonna quickly show you how I make it. It's so easy. You need melted butter, two tablespoons of melted butter. I'll leave the recipe down below, even though you really don't need a recipe. It's just two tablespoons of that. You need three quarter cups of sourdough discard. So this is all like non-active sourdough starter that I keep in my fridge. So this is what's considered discard. 
So three quarter cups of this. You need a quarter teaspoon of salt. I use like this pink Himalayan salt. And then you need two teaspoons of herbs de Provence or like any seasoning really is, this, this is not gonna focus. I forgot where I got this exact bottle, but herbs de Provence. And all you do is you mix it in a bowl. So again, I'll show you, but it's so simple. You mix it, then you bake it, put it on a baking sheet, like a really thin layer, I'll show you. And they are just like the tastiest, most delicious crackers. I've got my little scale, three quarter cups of sourdough discard or 200 grams. And look, if I fed this, if I took a little bit of this and fed it, I would have active sourdough discard. I have so much that I need to use up. So I'm gonna do 200 grams of this. And this is my favorite way to use um, like discard so that it doesn't go to waste. You can also use it for like pancakes and stuff, but I love making crackers. So then this is the two tablespoons of the melted butter. So then this is the quarter teaspoon of salt and then two teaspoons of these herbs. I could put a little more if I wanted a little bit of that extra flavor. It tastes so good. I love those herbs. And then I just mix it together and then we'll take like a baking sheet and pour this on there. Okay, so the trick here is to make this layer super thin. So I'm putting on some like parchment paper and then I'm gonna just drop it all in here and then we're gonna go spreading it out until it's like a super thin layer. So that way you get like those crispy kind of breakable crackers. Sometimes when I make this, I'll double the recipe just so I have more. So I just start going like this until it's like the thickness that I want. It's just like so easy. And yes, I'm using like a gingerbread <laughs> man spatula. That's what I got here. Okay, so there we go. We've got like a really thin layer. You don't want it to be super thick. And you get like these thick crackers. I mean, maybe you like that, but this is how I like mine. And I want to experiment making some like cheddar ones. Like I can, you can make crackers any way. But I'm gonna bake it for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna remove it. Okay, so it's been baking for about 10 minutes. And it's not done yet, but we're gonna take it out and we're gonna kind of like score it so that it is just easier to break into like little squares after the fact. This is how I've always done it. So I'll just take like a knife. I may, I may have waited too long because this is kind of thin. Sometimes it works better than others, but I just try to kind of run a knife through it. See how you're making like these little lines? I'm trying not to break it apart either, so it's kind of like an art form here. I just do that a couple times, and then I'll do it the other way. So I'm making like these little rectangles, but if you do it like too much like that, then you kind of like break it all apart. It doesn't have to be perfect. Eventually, they're gonna all be broken apart. These are crackers, mama. So I just try to do a little bit of that and then we're gonna keep baking them for like another, it says 20 to 50 minutes. I forget how many minutes I bake it for. All right, so I'll just put this in there like while I do something else and then I'll have my crackers. All right, the kids are over here playing dentist. Right, who's, and now we'll play doctor. Okay, but who's, who's the patient? You're the patient? Then aren't you supposed to lay down so he can examine you? No, we are already done. Oh, did you have cavities? Oh, he had to take out my teeth and put them back. Oh wow, that sounds really serious. Now I need water. Let me see, Jackson. Now you need water. Me? Yeah. You need to wash your face because you had a milkshake and your mouth is full of milkshake. Who's this for? For you. For me? What do I do with it? I oh, just drink it. I drink it? Wow, it's delicious. Oh, uh, now I can have some water. Sure. So yeah, I was gonna show you really quick like their new toy rotation. So here's the dentist set. They took out dentist set, they took out doctor kit. Jackson still has his cars. This is a random bin. This is Riley's tea set. It's all of Sean's toys, some more Sean's toys. Riley has doll stuff in here. And then we took out the ABC popsicles from the garage. So this is Jackson's like new toy that he's playing with. Not new, like we've had this forever, but he's working on his letters with that instead of the ABC train. That's what we had out for a while, but now it's the popsicles. And then the other thing that we took out from the garage yesterday was the sandwich making set. So they can make sandwiches this is at Melissa and Doug slice and stack set. So I'll link these little sets for you guys down below. But if you need some new like toy ideas, this was like always a great one. The kids love to make their sandwiches and they were pretend playing and they've got the money. So that's kind of what's in the toy situation these days. I had to come get Sean because the little man is awake already and he only slept for like 45 minutes. But he seems to be happy about it. I gave him a toy See if you'll stay in there for a second. I have a whole bunch of laundry to put away. My mom was over here yesterday watching him when I went ice skating with the big kids 
and she was so nice she folded a bunch of laundry for me and then I moved it to this beautiful laundry catcher <laughs> that I have here I really need to just get this bassinet out of my room because this is all it is it's either a pillow catcher or a laundry catcher because John doesn't sleep here anymore but let's try to put this in his room where it belongs Okay, laundry has been put away. Sean stayed here playing. <laughs> so I was able to do a little bit of laundry, which was nice. Thank you, sir. I have so much that I need to do in his room. I finally got, I don't know if I had shown you, I got a throw so that it would like tie in the new rug. I wanna put a new table there. I wanna put like some artwork up here or like a mirror, but I did finally get a diaper pail. So before there were used to like just be diapers over here. And I got this one, which I like, cause you just put the diapers in here. So that is like the latest addition to Sean's room. All right, so I brought Sean down here. I put him in the pack and play, which has been awesome. I don't think I had this out the last vlog, but I needed somewhere to be able to put him if I was gonna be working in the kitchen that I knew he was contained, where like he wouldn't be getting into the kids stuff. So this has been working out pretty well. Some days he does really well like playing with his toys. So I'm hoping he will. This is what the crackers are looking like. Um, I left them in there a little longer. Like I didn't hear the, the beep when it went off after 20 minutes. So I think this was like 28 minutes. But this is what the crackers look like. They actually broke apart really well. And they just, they're just very tasty and savory. And I love them. Sometimes they're kind of crumbly, but I don't mind that. But you see like the thinner parts is where they're gonna be like really, really thin. And then the thicker the batter, um, like the thicker the layer, the thicker the crackers. So you kind of have to find what your preference is as you go making the crackers. But instead of wasting all that discard, you make these little crackers and you know exactly what's in them. And it's like a good little snack there. So that was a good use of my time in my opinion. I know that it looks like garbage, but it actually tastes delicious. You have to try it. And if you do, then tell me what you think. Then you can comment on how bad they look, but first you gotta try them. Next up, I'm thinking that this girly over here needs some like one-on-one -on -one mom time. And how did I know that? Because you were getting kind of cranky, right? So we're gonna do a little oh, bit of baking, her and I. Do you mind if I um, get going? my baking stuff? Oh, you're gonna get your baking stuff? All we're gonna do is make this mix of muffins because it's one of our favorite, the Kodiak cakes, the double Mom, dark chocolate. Mom, put on my apron so I don't get my beautiful shirt. Oh, okay, sure, I will. Put it, <laughs> can I put it on like that? Let's see. Okay, so we got your apron. What else do we got? Wait, your battery's going to die? My battery's about to die. I'm gonna have to change the battery. Are you gonna put that on too? Yeah, I... I just, chef's hat? Well, is this going to be quick so your camera doesn't die? Um, how does it even go? Like this, I think. It doesn't matter which way it goes. <laughs> like that? <laughs> you look fantastic. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually gonna use my big camera, my non-vlogging camera, because the other one died, and that's fine, so this one's better anyway. Um, so what else do you have in there? I have a wish. I have like a little spoon. Like whenever you're like, okay, I want to taste this before I actually do when it's dry. Like like what Tiana does. I have measuring spoons. I have a tiny one. But you know, they all have measurements on them. So one of the things that I want to include in her homeschooling more now that she's learning how to read and she can start reading stuff is actually baking and having her read the ingredients the hard thing about these is that they're in like milliliters, so it doesn't say like one teaspoon, so these are not the best. But I'm gonna get her measuring spoons that she can actually read. And then can you tell me what, what we'll need? So what does it say? You need one big, one? big one. Bag. Bag. bag of the Kodiak mix, two eggs or egg shells. Substitute. Substitute. Two. Substitute. One cup of milk. And then this is one third. One third cup of oil and then mix the batter. Mm -hmm. So like I wanna like start having easy recipes like that that she can read 
and then having her like makes all the stuff on her own because I think that she's big enough now that she can do that. Can I do that right like today? Um, like more I, milks, please. I guess we can try. So yeah. I'm gonna give you a bowl, and then I need to get you what else? Do I need, need to get you? Need um the box, please. The box. One cup of milk, please. One cup of milk. One egg. And one egg? Are you sure you gotta read that? You better read the oh, instructions two again. Eggs. Two eggs. That's what the recipe is for. You gotta make sure you put the right amount, okay? Because okay. if not, the whole thing is gonna not be good. So here's your mix. Now we need two eggs. Ah! Yeah. Three one. I already cracked two. Oh, Chong is getting fussy. Now what? Now I need one cup of milk. Get that from um right here. There. Okay. And then third of a cup of oil. Alright, there you go. And then I'll mix it all together. And it calls for nothing else. Calls for nothing else? Yeah. Okay. This batter is looking good. But it says right here you can put chocolate chips. It already has chocolate chips. Mm. Yeah, this mix is called double dark chocolate. And it already has chocolate chips. Jackson! <laughs> it's not Jackson, it's John. <laughs> He's reaching for your hat. Yeah! I can make something else for Jackson. Jackson is like in the background going, I want to make it, but I wanted her to like be able to focus on making this herself. But that's what happens when you have more than one children and then okay. they're always fighting over whatever one of them is doing. To get the sides. Just get the sides, very important. And I think it's done. You think it's done? Mm-hmm. You, you try to keep them all even, okay? And try not to make a mess, okay? I'll try. I'll try.
brother Riley. Uh. Riley, no. We leave him on you, okay? He's like, please help me. Please. I got it. Riley's favorite thing to do. See, who does Sean look more like in this moment? You look like Riley, Sean, Sean. like Jackson. You look like Jackson. You think he looks like yeah. Jackson? Jackson? <laughs> Does he like it or no? Yeah. He's like absolutely skeptical. Okay, muffins are done. So that was productive. Oh. What? They don't look done? I think they're done. Do you have toothpicks? I don't. I think we need to buy toothpicks. Okay, we're about to go upstairs because I don't think that I have shared here on my channel that we have like this new little like family hobby mostly thanks to Joseph Buell who is here. So remember when I was trying to get Joe to clean out the office and I told you like there was something expensive that he wanted to buy so I told him he had to clean out his office first. So long story short, he wanted to buy a new 3D printer because back in the day we had a 3D printer. He barely used it, but that's a totally different conversation. So he wanted to buy a new 3D printer. So we have now acquired said printer and he's been printing some really cool stuff on it. So I wanted to show you what that looks like because on Instagram I've been sharing it and you guys have all thought it's super cool. But he's been printing like toys for the kids. Like this, I think it's only gonna focus on Sean's head. But this is a, here, hold him. But it's honestly pretty cool. Like this shark toy was 3D printed. So it came out of the printer looking just like this. And that's pretty amazing to me. The way that it works, like it's kind of like, it prints out things like layer by layer by layer with like this, what they call like a filament. I don't know the exact way that it happens, but I know that it's pretty cool. So he printed this out. He printed out cars for Jackson. Like these were 3D printed cars, like moving, working cars. This one actually dumps like a dump truck. This right here was a Batmobile. Are you happy with your printer, babe? I am. Yeah, he's been like trying to learn the software and like learn how to make stuff. Um, this we made, this little, Virgin Mary statue. I don't know what's wrong with my focus, but like this little Virgin Mary statue was 3D printed. He also 3D printed this. It's like a St. Michael the Archangel thing. He used it like as a paperweight the other day, but the idea with this would be like to make it so you could hang it, like get some hardware so you can hang it. But the detail is just crazy there. I think it focused correctly. Super pretty and then like Stuff like this, you can make it different colors, you can paint it, like we could take this and we could paint it. There's like lots of opportunities for like making really cool stuff like this. But it kind of blew my mind that these little cars came from the 3D printer. So of course that's like his new hobby with the kids, which I think is cute. It's like a good way to bond. All right, so let's go upstairs because Joe printed out a couple more things for the kids. He's working on making Jackson and like really both of the kids, but he's working on making them this like big car and it's like you've got to print each little piece your each set of pieces a couple at a time it's not like you do it all in one like those that i showed you were like all one piece but what he's been printing has been like a couple pieces so i think it's cool like i said like something for them to bond over a little hobby activity joe works on this sometimes like at night when i'm working or when i'm in bed the office too has come a long way there's still some mess over here but like joe got a new office chair and then this right here is a 3D printer. So you've got like all the, think of it like a printer cartridge. Like these are all the colors that you print with and you can change them out. So he's got a whole bunch of different colors. And then this is the 3D printer. So over here, he has um, printed all of these pieces. Like all of this is like the body of the car. So it's been 3D printed and he's been putting them together. And then he goes making like all these little pieces which I think are again like super cool. And then he goes what? assembling it. Do you have some in there? So this is, you have to open it? Yeah, pull it, it's right now. Oh, so then this is the printer and these are the latest pieces that he printed. So these are just- the dashboard and steering wheel and the template. For Wait, the that's the steering wheel of the car? Yeah. Wow, sweet. Look at that. Is that cool, Jackson? Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Like I was a hater for a minute there, but I think it's very cool. And then here on the side, he's got like those other colors. Like this is the one that they use for the shark and the orange car. And so he's working on, you know, kind of getting a collection of colors. But this is kind of like his workshop. Has it been fun to learn? Yeah. Yeah? What do you wanna, after you do that car, what do you think you're gonna try to work on? 
Any ideas? Any thoughts? Control. Control. Remote control cars? Yeah. yeah? Control Can you make a remote control car? You just have to like then buy like the batteries. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. You putting that piece, Jackson? Yeah. Nice. My rescuer. Rescuer. Very cool. But it's pretty interesting because like some of these take a long time to print. So sometimes he'll set something to print like and this, then the body took how many hours? 21 hours. Wow. Yeah. So he'll set it and then for like 21 hours or three hours, I think those little cars that I showed you downstairs took three hours. So overnight he'll print it. And then when you wake up in the morning, it's sitting there and then it's fun to see like, you know, what piece did dad you know print overnight and it's like a fun thing that they look forward to now so yeah like that didn't exist once upon a time ago and then he pushed a button printed it but there's like all sorts of things that you can make and i have no affiliation with that 3d printer i have no affiliate link i don't make money from selling it all i'm telling you is that it exists <laughs> it's something that joe bought and it's like a new little little hobby for him so yeah that's just like something fun that we're up to and we're learning about joe is the one like really diving in and learning the software i just look at the cool things that he prints um but i think it's fun to like i said have some kind of a family hobby something that we all do together so if you guys have some kind of like a family hobby that you guys do together like i don't know what what would another family hobby be babe like the training models and stuff for model building i don't know maybe some families bake together i don't know let me know if you guys have a fun family hobby that you guys do together with your kids i think that there's a lot of learning opportunity in that and just bonding opportunities so that was kind of how i sold this to myself I became somewhat okay with spending the money on it what are your plans for this for the kids what is it that you said you said you can do a million things with it like well, she wants like dollhouse stuff or oh that's stuff. that's right you right. can print out like dollhouse furniture yeah, yeah like barbie accessories i think it's cool to make like the little virgin mary statues <laughs> like oh, you can make jesus sacram statues yeah, sacram yeah. sacramentals and Dada, look how tiny i think that's cool all the we, colors yeah these are like all the colors that you can purchase and then print with and then even on the computer you can see like when something is being printed you get like a little camera of the inside and you can watch it print which is pretty neat So this is what dinner is gonna look like for us. Um, I just tried this chicken and it is delicious. I made it with those leftover breadcrumbs from that fail of a bread that I made the other day. And you're, what you're hearing in the background is the ice cream truck, by the way. But this is what Joe and I will have. We're gonna have some leftover <laughs> focaccia. Forget it, I can't even talk. And then this is what the kids' dinner will look like. So they're gonna eat that chicken and have some rice. My goodness, it is so loud. Yes. What do you want? Right, exactly. The which one? The white, red, and blue. This one down here? No, I Which one? Oh, the bomb pop, that one? And then which one do you want? The one that I get. The I'm gonna get that big dipper. Yeah, that one's for me. What do you want, Jackson? Super healthy, guys, but legit old school ice cream truck over here. Are you happy the ice cream truck came by? So they know that they have to put those in there for after dinner. And after dinner, we can have our treat. Jackson, are you Jackson excited? I got Candy Crush. I got, what is this one called? Bomb Pop Original. Ooh, I like Pop. I want to try Bomb Pop. Very I'm good. All right. You're not going to try anything until you eat your dinner. Yes, you. Yeah. That's right. So anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted by the ice cream truck, every once in a while in our neighborhood, she comes by and the kids get so excited. But that is going to be our dinner. And it looks really delicious. Lord, and these I get from the Shoes and my bouncy. Amen. Amen. Very good. Hope you guys enjoy. And then Sean's been sitting here at the table with us lately. So if he gets fussy, I'll have to feed him his dinner. But maybe I can get away with eating mine first.
a million years later. It is like 8.20. We just put the kids to bed. Um, we just put the big kids to bed. Jackson, Sean's been sleeping for a little bit now. But that's gonna be it for today. Sorry, I was checking on him and I have to like move the monitor every once in a while because the monitor like moves itself and then I can't see him. But look at that sleeping little baby. He looks so cute. So we'll see how long he lasts tonight. Usually, like I keep telling you guys, he usually will give us I don't know, until about 10.30. Like if I put him down at seven, I can count on like by 10 or 10.30, he's gonna start waking up for his first time. And I don't know what to do. Like I can't get him to do a longer stretch than that. It's just like, that's when he wants to wake up. So here in the next couple months, we're gonna have to start again, like trying to um, maybe get him to connect some more sleep cycles. Maybe that means some more like strict sleep training because even though we've made progress on his sleep, I still would like for him to connect some more of that like those stretches of sleep so we'll see i'll keep you posted if we do anything different but today was just a really good day and maybe i don't know maybe it wasn't that eventful i mean i felt like at least i did some stuff in the kitchen but for me it was just a really nice day to be with my girlfriends and be thinking about co-op and like to be thinking of all of those things that we have to plan for for next year i'm not gonna lie though like there's a part of me that i don't know like i'm excited but i'm also a little scared i'm a little nervous Feel like maybe it's gonna be a little bit overwhelming when you think about homeschooling in general and just like anything new right like anything new that you're doing or any new responsibility like i don't know i tend to get like really anxious about it and tend to think like i don't know like i'm not gonna have enough time or am i overdoing it am i stretching myself too thin and then i get like all in my head and stuff but i know that it's all like good things they're all like good things and i feel like i've been praying enough lately about you know the lord putting us in community and the Lord like helping us to make friendships and host people and like like really get out of ourselves and like out of our home and like connect with others that's really been our prayer lately so I feel like if now we're having more of these opportunities I mean it's got to be an answered prayer it has to be so if it's an answered prayer then it shouldn't scare me so much and I should just kind of like embrace it but it's a little bit always just nerve-wracking like am I gonna get this right but regardless of how nervous I am or scared or overwhelmed I may feel like I know that this is going to be really good for the kids i mean it has been really good for the kids it's been good for them to make friends it's been good for me to like get out of my comfort zone and make friendships and stuff so maybe that's just like part of it right like part of the growth like the growth can seem like a little bit scary and it can be a little bit i don't know you feel like you're being stretched because you really are <laughs> that's how you grow like maybe this is so stupid and so common sense but this is just like me processing the day but anyway thanks again for hanging out with us um today on just like a random saturday and again thank you to ritual for sponsoring today's video remember if you want to try out um ritual vitamins if you're on the market for some new vitamins to take then i have that code that saves you 25 percent off so all the info will be down below in the description box use my link use my code save some money and that is it i will talk to you guys very soon in my next video because because I have plenty more that I need to film and update you guys on like lots of exciting content that I want to film and post here on my channel so stay tuned lots of fun stuff happening and that's it I love you guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys